So this question, it says, how much money would you need in an account now in order to have 6,000 in the account in five years? So this one's a little bit tricky. So that means our final amount, which is PN is 6,000. P0 is unknown, and that's what we're trying to find. P0 is the principal or initial amount, so we don't know how much we're starting with. And we have five years, so that is N is five years. And 5%, so that's the rate is 5%. Remember, not a percentage, but a decimal. So you have to move the decimal place over twice. Now, compounded monthly, that is the K value. K equals number of compounding periods in one year, which is usually going to be monthly, which is 12, of course, 12 months in a year. K is 12. Okay, so now we have to look at this financial formula flowchart and decide what row we're on. We are not making periodic deposits or withdrawals, so the bottom three are out. We do not have simple interest, so the top two are out. And right away, we're down to this row right here. And we need to know what is P0. Uh, and we don't have one solved for P0, but this one's almost solved for P0. So let's use this. I'll edit this chart for the future, but for now, we'll use it as is. Okay. So we're gonna plug in all the values that we have. 6,000 is PN. P0 we don't know, so we're leaving it as P0. R is 0 0.05 divided by K is 12 to the power of N five times K is 12. Okay. Let's go ahead and compute this right here. And we're gonna go to the Desmos calculator So we have to clear it. I need to start a parenthesis, one plus 0 0.05 divided by 12. And I move the cursor with the mouse, <clears throat> close parenthesis. Now I have to raise it to a power. Don't click the squared because we don't want to square it. We want to do a to the b power. That gives us, it's hard to see, but it moved the cursor up into exponential part right there. I'm going to start a parenthesis and do five times 12, close parenthesis. Okay, so what we get is 1.283335. Let's keep five decimal places, 1.283333. So I'll do 1.283336. So I want to get P0, so I have to divide by this right here. So we're going to divide both sides by 1.283336 and that'll be P0. So I'll hit enter to get that out of there. So it's 6,000 divided by, one thing you can do is grab that, copy, Paste. Okay, I guess I'll just type it on point two eight three three five eight six seven nine. All right, four thousand six hundred seventy five point. This is a money dollar value, so we'll just keep the twenty three cents. We will throw away the two, the rest of the decimal. Four six seven five point two three. All right, so that is our initial amount we would need. And let's go ahead and check that. 4675.23. All right, and that is right up there. So that is our 
solution for this problem.